What's going on guys? It's your boy Marvin Knight here and we are back with another Dokkan battle video over here on JP Dokkan. We are T minus seven days, a little less than seven days away from the anniversary live stream for the eighth anniversary and a little over that for the drop of the uh, actual anniversary with the characters and the free to play and all that shit. So I thought it'd be cool if we, on the week leading up to, or the couple of days leading up to that, we go back to last year's anniversary and we go through some of the units that have been released over that point. We have here just some of the free, to, all the three to play, free to play units that we got over the course of anniversary. Now, unfortunately, I didn't. There was no way to make a team of just them, so I did have to add in the free-to-play version Z Saiyan Saga Goku along with Beast Gohan just to round out the team. But we do have all the other units, of course. We have the Goku and Vegeta that released right off the bat. Um, as you can see, they're all done. They're not, of course, link leveled because I'm not. I don't do stuff like that all the time but they are 100%. They have all of their Z equipment and they are SA-10. Um, and then of course we have the Bulma and Vegeta with their equipment, his equipment change. And also uh, Easy Aid. This guy is Easy Aid with that. He's got all his Z abilities 100%. Um, then we have the Vegeta, the Goku and Chi Chi, which also came out during that time. As you guys remember, these two units were released as a standalone Goku and Vegeta card, which awakened a little bit into the anniversary into a Vegeta, a Goku and Chi Chi, and then of course a Vegeta and Trunks. And then from there, they awoken to an Easy A, which they Easy A'd. So those are those units. And then of course we have the LR free to play that we got from that as well. The LR, Goten, Trunks, and Gohan, who are also finished off SA25, Easy Aid with a max 100%. Um, they are not, this one is missing. So, okay, we do not have that, but that has been completed. All units are rainbowed to SA10 and at least as maxed out as possibly that they possibly can be. So we're gonna go into Legendary Goku event and we're just gonna try this team out in it and see just how they've aged in the last year. Um, and yeah, just uh, if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year. We upload daily Dokkan and Dragon Ball Legends content. And of course, over on my Twitch channel, which is also Marvel Knights House of Gaming, we are playing through Persona 3. So if you guys are into gaming, the gaming and all that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and head over to my Twitch and follow me over there as well. But without further ado, we're gonna jump right on into this. Um, and we're just gonna see how these free to play units end up. And um, this is my first time attempting commentary with the um, with my streams. I wanna just make it a little bit uh, more interactive with you guys um, and all that. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully figure out the whole editing and shit like that uh, further on in my, uh, in the, what do they call it? In my whatever, and of course face cam will be coming as well eventually unfortunately this app doesn't let me do it so i'll probably have to wait till after i get my um after i get my pc but i will as i will really much attempt to do it eventually but i wanted to at least upgrade my dokkan videos because as you guys know before i just uploaded dokkan videos without commentary but we are now here with commentary so we're at least moving in the right direction but um okay so we also have uh this Okay, yeah, so I'm not going to get any sound, unfortunately, from, from this. I hope you guys can still... You can hear me and hear the game. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so they're not putting up too big of numbers, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Hopefully, we can get through without dying. Um, yeah, so I feel like in order... Because like, it, it takes too long to make multiple videos of the units. Because you have to do, like, one per unit. And that's, like, four videos. And unfortunately, with uh, Anniversary seven days away, and with some other content that I want to make with the LR, EZAs, the actual units. Yeah, no, see, that's very concerning. We're probably not going to be able to win, but um, we can at least get to a point where we can show them off and see just like, how well they are. 
Yeah, because we're, we're only at two. Yeah, no, we're only at like 23k in terms of health. So more than likely, Beast Gohan will have to stick up and hopefully win this for us. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show them off for you guys a little bit. The uh, like I said, we're probably gonna lose, but it'll probably be one of those things like say how Nano and uh, Diddy do. It. This is like a, a race almost by myself, where we're just gonna see how far we can get with the older units and see if how, just how far we can get. How because I know we're not gonna win, but it still would be cool to see just how far we can get. So. Yeah, so hope you guys all enjoy it. And like I said, 7th anniversary, 8th anniversary is literally right on the corner. It's crazy to think that Dokkan at this point is 8 years old. Um, and of course, we're starting with last year's anniversary. Because last year's anniversary was the start of JP Dokkan for me. Um, Global, I, I, started, I started a little bit right before the 6th. I started during the 6th anniversary. So I may start next year or in 6 months when it comes to Global. I'll probably do a 6th anniversary video leading up to it first, only because of that fact. Oh, I've actually never gotten this fucking exchange. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. We're probably going to die in the next couple turns, but like I said, I at least want to get to show them off a little bit. Just want to get to show them off to you guys a little bit. Because it's been a while since we've seen both of these units. And um, it is still cool to get to see them. So, yeah, but yeah. Um, so now for the release of the characters, people are all like, oh my god, they lied to us, you know. They lied, they lied. He said it wasn't going to be a, a headliner, and they lied out their teeth. And you gotta remember, it's all about money. If, you, they, if they released a first, um, I, I know it would be hype, to see an LR Shenron and a, a a Kid Buu. I know people have been waiting for Kid Buu for quite a long time, but it's just one of those things where Goku and Vegeta just sell way better. Like, it's all about the money. That's why the same thing when they came up with a pity system, people were like, they're, people were like why don't you implement a pity system? And they're like, well, you guys have the coin system, you really don't need a pity system, but it really comes down to they, they're comfortable with the amount of money they're making. And if they take, give us a pity system where you spend, I don't know, say 200, 300, 400 stones and pull the unit, or don't pull the unit, and then you can get them for free right off the bat, there's no incentive for you to go over 55%. Which ends up being the case very well is that people will stop summoning. Because there's people like, say, you know, Truth who likes to rainbow the unit to find out their max um, promise, and they'll continue until they're rainbowed either way. But even the whales, if it only takes 500 coins to get a free unit, or let's say it only takes 500 stones per new unit, then you're only spending, say, this many, where you have true spending 10,000 stones to pull the five copies, people are gonna stop, you know, are gonna stop spending that mass amount of money because they can just get the units for the discount but it is what it is i do think eventually i think a pity system will get implemented but i don't doubt and this may kill us actually right here that was a lie okay um like the system might get implemented eventually do i think it's coming anytime soon possibly not the same thing with um I don't know, but uh, I've also been seeing a lot of people, like, I mean, including, I hated that they didn't give us Go Gohan and Cell for the easy A's alongside. Uh, I've actually seen a lot of people thinking about moving to JP. Uh, I saw something on Twitter earlier, actually, that the, um, that a lot of the global YouTubers are thinking about joining JP solely because of the fact of all the bullshit that we're not getting units the same time as JP. And just, it's just, and I, I agree, but like, it was a joint celebration. Like, the celebration was New Year's celebration, New Superhero celebration. We were supposed to, we joined the thing at the same time. So I'm not really understanding why they did not give us these units right off the bat. I feel like there was no re, it's one thing that it wasn't a joint celebration. That's one thing, but it was literally a joint celebration. We may die here. So this may be the end of the video right here. Yes, it is. Okay, so that is that. Um, 
So f since it just started, I do want to do just a little bit of video. Just uh, I'll probably show off uh, some of the units together in like a slow video. Um, but it'll probably be some short. So we'll probably, let's show off. Um, where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. So we're going to do... <sighs> You're Goku family, right? I think so. I think you was Goku. So we're going to do you and we're going to show off the uh this free to play unit and then we're just gonna do a bunch of gohan uh, goku family individuals uh units um okay so we'll bring in pan bardock and okay, we'll do this so i do want to run just this team. We'll probably do like a simple mission. We're probably not gonna do anything too fucking serious. Um, let me head down. Was it speed? Hold on. I don't think I. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There was a speed mission here earlier. I don't even know. But yeah, so let's just do something uh, fairly simple. Like, not too crazy. Let's do Path to Power Goku. So, we're just going to do this, and let us do this. Okay. So, we're going to just show off this Goku, and then we'll probably show off the Vegeta, and I think we're going to call it there. I like, see, we might do the hybrid ones, but we might just do a bunch of videos right here. Uh, make it a nice long video for my debut as a Dokkan YouTuber. Um, I mean, I'm not, it's not really my debut, because I've been doing video videos before. But it is technically one because, um, can I even get them to, okay. But yes, it's not technically my debut because I've been doing content, but it's like my debut of like a new start for the, um, a new start for my channel because I wasn't doing commentary on these videos. So we'll do a little bit longer one. We're just going to do a couple of these, uh, Dokkan events. And we're going to show off the free-to-play units like that because doing them together on one team isn't going to be enough to do anything. They're not good enough for that. So it is what it is. Um, okay, so... Uh, i got to wait for this. But yeah. And on Global, I'm 100% skipping out on a lot of the units. But um, yeah, let me know in the comment section of the video which units... For the anniversary are you looking forward to the most are you are you looking forward to um ssj3 and Angel vegeta or are you looking forward to kid goku and super saiyan 4. i for one the banner for the um the banner for the uh super saiyan 3 goku is definitely by far better it's definitely the better looking bannering or gamma stl cell um you got uh, the new Go Tanks, and there was one other unit on that banner that I don't remember. But it's definitely a better signing banner. But then again, the Super Saiyan for Vegeta and GT Goku has a new OC, a new, a new Ice Shenron, and a new um, a new a new Ice Shenron and a Nova. And I've been trying to beat GT bosses for a while now on the units. And this is just the best time to get it done. Because I, if I get those units, we're good to go. Damn, the fucking, the, the fucking um, connection with this Goku and Chi-Chi with the um, Beast Gohan is extraordinary. You saw how much damage, how many, how much stats that guy is on right now. Um, but, you know, uh, Goku and Chi-Chi are doing okay on this rotation, but they're not really wiping out units, whereas this Gohan is about to just fucking murder this invader with this attack. And he'll probably double with this. Yes, okay. So that's the end of this Goku. But yeah, so like I said, they're not bad, but definitely they can't even take on the Vegeta event. I feel like if we took this event, uh, this team into the Vegeta, uh, the Goku event, we could probably do it, but I feel like more than likely, it's not going to be one of those... Oh wow, Goku and Chi Chi won this. No, it's not gonna be like that. It's definitely 100% more of the team than the units, but they're also free to play units, so I'm not all that surprised, but 
Um, hopefully, this year's anniversary units free to plays are a little bit better. Though I gotta admit, I am highly doubting it. But it's just one of those things. And also, this Bardock's still really good. Even though I'm probably gonna end up skipping him on global. Just because, I'm probably gonna, yeah, the thing is because I'm probably gonna go so deep on the global banner. I'll probably end up with like 500 stones by the end of banner. So I'll probably just buy Bardock when he comes back. But uh, Path to Power Goku is still extremely good. I did not get him on JP. On Global, I will probably spend the tickets for him. To be honest with you, I'll probably... Damn, that fucking Goku, bro. But yeah, no, that's great. But um, Path to Power Goku, I'll probably end up doing tickets for all three banners. You know, Yamcha, Bardock, and then Path to Power Goku. But that's only because the tickets only end up being like 40, 50 bucks. That's whatever. But in terms of summoning on the banners themselves with stones, I probably won't end up doing that solely because of the fact that with Anniversary being amazing, if it ends up being amazing, which we'll know by the end of February, just how good Anniversary ends up being. As of right now, it's kind of an up in the air thing. Just, you know, with the whole, um, you know, just with the whole... You know, it hasn't even started yet. All we know are the, the face of the units and a couple of the free-to-play units. We don't know anything about stats, animations, we know nothing. So as far as we know, it could be terrible. Knowing if they go on the same how of 7th anniversary, which the units were fucking broken, more than likely, we are not going to be skipping anniversary. So we'll, we'll do a bunch of LRs right here. Um, let's make this, you know, let's make this a little less easy. We're just going to bring in some free-to-play units. Um... We'll bring you in. We'll bring you in. Just because I want to be able to show off that unit. As you guys know, the free-to-play units boost the category. So the Vegeta and Trunks... I'm not Vegeta and Trunks. The Vegeta and Bulma boost the Veg Vegeta family. And the Goku and Chi-Chi boost Vegeta family. And then the Goten, Trunks, and Gohan boost hybrids. So, so yeah. So we got that. Um... So let's show these two off, and then we're gonna show off the. Then we're gonna show off the uh, the go on the go ten and the trunks, and then after that we'll call it a day until tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna start with the main headliners of the anniversary, the gods team, along with the Broly. So we're gonna put those two together on a team, and that'll be the, how we do that. The next day we are gonna do the GT side of it. So. These videos aren't going up as I release them. As it is right now, I'm recording this on Sunday. I got a Dragon Ball Legends and two Dokkan videos going up over the week. So these will be starting on Wednesday. So we got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days. So we got this video going up on Wednesday. Thursday will be Gods. Thursday will be the Gods. Friday will be... Friday will be... Um... What do they call it? Fuck. And the, um, the GT side, which we will also throw in Shenron and Gogeta. And then Saturday, we will upload the EVAs. So basically, the God side of it will be God slash Broly. And then the GT side, we're going to throw in uh, Tech Shin Shenron. There's Tech Shin Shenron. There's... Um, Gogeta, the tech Gogeta that we got the easy. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I think we're gonna save all easy A's for that final deck. So it'll be just God. The gods will be Bardock, and then the GTs will be uh, Shin Shen. And then Saturday we will do the easy A's for um, for the anniversary. So we got not the free to plays, but the regular ones. So we have the LR. Phi, Super Saiyan, Goku and Vegeta that go into Gogeta, and then the uh, Int, Super Saiyan, Goku and Angel Vegeta, which go into Vegito. Those two, you got those two, you got SSJ4 Goku and SSJ4 Vegeta, those easy A's, and then we have AGL, no, no, uh, no, we got Phi Shenron and Tech Gogeta. So we got six fusion. We got six easy A units that we will be showing off in one video. Now, I don't know if we're going to run them all on the same team. It really, really depends. But uh, more than likely, we, won't. we may do something like this when we're showing off the anniversary unit.
push off the anniversary units split together. But um, yeah, so we'll probably do something like that. We'll probably just split it up and do like multiple, uh, multiple runs in the same video for that one. Of course, the gods and the uh, SSJ4s will be just one video. One, uh, not one video, but one run. And then we'll do, like I said, I want to do a Super Saiyan. Probably what I'll do is I'll run the Super Saiyan, the, the, uh, the headliner LRs together with the, say, the fusions. So more than likely we'll run SSJ4 LR, well the LR SSJ4 Goku and Vegeta that fuse is their fused warrior and we'll throw together the uh, third anniversary Phi Vegito and uh, no Phi Gogeta and Int Vegito. We'll put them together on that team with the gods and the SSJ4s along with the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And then we'll do a team that's GT based with the LR, SSJ4, Goku, Vegeta, and the Gogeta, and the SSJ4, um, the SSJ4, uh, fuck, it'll be something like that. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to be done, but before the end of that video, we will have showed off every one of the EZAs, and that will lead off into the end of Saturday, and Sunday we have the actual anniversary. Uh, live stream. Now, I don't know if I'll upload any videos of that sort during that day, and I probably will not be recording it, but um, we'll, 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 we'll do our best. We'll do our best. We'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. Um, hopefully, you guys will enjoy it either way, and of course, as soon as anniversary starts, as free-to-play units are released, we will be doing videos on JP Gokon consistently over the course of the next month and a half, two months, for um, anniversary. Showing off the new units, showing off grind, showing off new events. We'll, we'll do everything. And uh, when events go and have to it, summons, we'll probably record our summons as well. Um, I'm gonna wait till we get money, the money, and then the stones. But uh, I don't know how deep I'm gonna be able to go into anniversary. Hopefully, we get a lot of free to play and tickets because I'm gonna need a lot of them. Of course, we have the 77 ticket summon, which will also be extremely important. And hopefully, we end up getting all of these things during the course of anniversary so that I don't have to worry about me spending, spending as much money. Um, and yeah, just hopefully everything goes well. Oh wow, we got actually got Vegeta to double there. But, um, but yeah, so hope you guys will enjoy all the content that's coming up. Hope you guys will subscribe if you guys are new so you don't miss out on this content. Uh, like I said, a lot of my streaming videos. Okay, so the Bulma in the in the Goku, the Bulma and Shichi, uh, the, the, the Bulma and Vegeta didn't do as good. Like I said, they're free to play units, so I'm not really expecting much from them. Kind of just wanted to show them off to get some content out for you guys. But um, they did okay. They did all right. So we got one more team that we want to show off before we call the video. We're just going to run something that's not nearly as hard as that one was. That one was kind of... So we're going to do Bardock. We'll do Bardock. So I do want to try out a hybrids team really quick with the incursion of the free-to-play unit. We'll bring you, you, you. Let me switch out. Let me try to bring some better units because that was kind of trash. We'll bring you in. We'll bring you in. We'll do this. Um, okay. So that's a little bit better. And uh, hopefully it recorded this whole time with sound, so that, and I'm not being overshadowed by game, so that way it wasn't all for nothing, and I'm not just talking and out of breath. But yeah, so hope you guys all enjoy everything that goes on with this game. Like I said, there's a lot of content incoming for you guys. Hopefully you guys will enjoy all of it. Um, Alright, so this should be a piece of paper. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, we got green, so we'll do this. And then... And Perfect. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. But yeah, I hope you guys. Uh, yeah, most of my streaming because before my YouTube channel was mostly gameplays and Dokkan and Legends. But unfortunately, I did move my live streaming to, to Twitch. So as I said before, if you guys are interested in playing games and watching that, please go over to my Twitch channel, Marvel Knights House of Gaming, so you guys don't miss out on that when it drops. I hope you guys will stick around and help me get to 50 followers. And then of course, videos here will continue, you know, with Legends and Dokkan, especially with Anniversary on the way. We will be doing a lot of videos. And of course, when they come to Global, we'll be doing it on Global as well. 
Because, you know, different we get different versions will get different amounts of the characters, different um will get different amounts of characters, different percentages. So I'm sure you guys will be interested in seeing that. I'm not too worried about this Gohan taking too much hits. But there's the unit we want to show off. Gohan's probably not gonna get yep, nope. Alright, so so he's super. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll see. Gohan should be able to tank this. Um yeah, he did okay. Alright. And yeah, hopefully the LR Gohan and LR Cell come to global eventually, because I do have that Gohan at 100% capacity with the leveling 10, so he's going to be a complete fucking monster when he comes to global. So we will be doing, when his, when his video, when his um, thing comes to global, I will make sure that we, up, we do that. And uh, they did okay, they did okay. But the real challenge is going to be um, finding the time to actually make content in terms of the commentary. Because before I would just like record videos while I was waiting to go to work and stuff like that. But if I do like, stuff like this, I'm going to have to take more time. And I'm out of breath for real for me talking all this time. So we'll have to see how that one goes. But uh, we do have, hopefully you guys still enjoy the amount of content that we have here for you guys. And um... Wow, that's not giving me anything. Okay, that's fine. So hopefully Gohan will do some damage. He probably won't double because he's a di dickhead ass motherfucker. But he's this is a blast, so he should counter it. Yes, sir. Knock that out of the way. Okay. But yeah. So that's the plan for the next week. Hope you guys will be here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on this channel so you don't miss out on any of my Dragon Ball Legends Dokkan videos. Like I said, with the anniversary coming right around the corner, you really do not want to miss any of the content that we're gonna upload that was pretty good we doubled there so we got some good crits going uh so that unit's not terrible but i feel like it could be better i feel it's also an lr compared to the urs and i feel like on the right team you could boost them a little bit further along with the level links but in terms of like i don't know i feel like more than likely it's not going to be much more damage unfortunately i feel like that's pretty much the limit as it is but it's okay. It's all right. Like I said, we're just, I just wanted to use them in a video uh, before anniversary started. And we did. We got them all played a little bit better than that fucking start we had. But I was not expecting us to get very far in the... Uh, what do we call it? Let me skip these so we're not wasting too much time. Not bad. Okay, well that's done. Okay. So yeah, so that's how um, the, the Goten, uh, the, the Goten, Trunks, and, and Gohan are. Like I said, they did some good crits in there, they did some good damage, but unfortunately, they have aged. They weren't really that good to begin with. If you watch the Truth videos, most of the free-to-play units we get during anniversaries and worldwide celebrations are good-ish. Like, in, in examples, like, they could technically do some good damage. But unfortunately, a lot of these units are, are just, they're, they're good skeleton crews, but then they're not given enough to do good. Like, that's just, it's an unfortunate fact, and it's just very unfortunate. But, um, but yeah, a lot of the LRs we got from last year were fucking amazing. Like, they were just, like, they were literally so good, they were destroying easy A's that they weren't even strong against. But it's going to be very interesting when we do get to see... With this new anniversary because we've got like standby skills we've got enemy guard where you have to crit to do damage like it's one of those things where like it's going to be a very interesting um it's going to be a very interesting development of how this anniversary is going to shape up to be different but anyway hope you guys all enjoyed the videos if you did make sure you guys go down here at the subscribe button trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year let me know in the comment section which unit you're excited for which of the new mechanics are you excited for which banner are you going forward how many stones are you dropping and just let let me know what you feel about this new setup that we're doing with commentary and all that shit hope you guys all enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one hope you guys all enjoyed and i'll see you guys later peace out